Hey there, Julian from MemberStack here. And in this video, I am going to do a live build of what I think is the best way to get started to understand MemberStack and Wiz together, which is building a project which is creating members, getting members, updating members, and deleting members. So let's go ahead and do that now. What we have here is a brand new Webflow project using the client first clonable. We have a brand new Wiz project with literally nothing done, and we have a brand new member stack project with nothing done. I've added the scripts into the Webflow project in the header, just member stack and then Wiz right there. And that is literally it. Let's go ahead and do that. In this video, I'm going to be using Supabase, and you can use Supabase, Firebase, Airtable, Xano, anything. I personally have used Supabase the most, so that's what I'm using in this one. That being said, I want to make demos and live builds like this for all of the database. So whatever it is that you want to see, please drop it in the comments below so I know which ones to prioritize. Anyways, here we are. And first things first, let's get into creating members. What we're going to need is some forms. Let's go ahead over here. And I always tend to just copy this form. Let's do that from the style guide. There it is. Okay, let's copy that, bring it over here. I think I actually deleted this hero grid div. Yep. All right, so I don't need to do that. Let's go ahead and add this in. All we need is text input like that. Okay, so email input, there we go. Just go ahead and call it email. And let's go ahead and add a wizard attribute. Let's do sign up email. And then we're going to want a password as well. Set those both to required. Let's add a wizard attribute to this form as well. Sign up form. And then right here, let's go ahead and do sign up. Beautiful. Okay. So now we have that and let's just go ahead and copy that. And then this will be the login form and then just update the attributes accordingly. Login. I did the form as well. So great. We are good to go. And the reason I'm doing this using Wiz attributes instead of just using the member stack script is because we actually want to send these members into Supabase when they're created. And if we did that using the member stack script, then we would need to set up something like a serverless function, a use webhooks to pass it through. So in this example, I think it's easier to do this using quiz actions and requests. So anyways, there we are. Now let's go in here. And I don't think we've even connected our, let's go ahead and connect member stack and Supabase right now. My apps, let's just do Supabase first. App Supabase, and we need the URL and the key. So let's go ahead in there. We got our URL and our key. This is something secret. You do not want to be showing people. Okay, actually, this is not a secret key. Just try to keep your credentials private. Probably can't hurt. I was just going to say I don't care because I will be deleting this project. But anyways, so get our key back here into Supabase. There we go. Supabase is connected. Now let's connect member stack. App, member stack, and let's go ahead and get our public key. So here we are. Let's go to DevTools and let's get public key just like that. So back on into Wiz, pop that in there. And now we've got member stack. So now what we want to do is go ahead and create a request and let's just call this member stack sign up. Not going to add things to folders right now. You probably should. You'll thank yourself and me later. But like I said, this project is a throwaway. So anyways, we want to sign up a member sign up email password there we go so email return and then we want to get our sign up email there we go nothing is in it password we want to get our sign up password then custom fields all that we don't need right now plans we don't need right now so let's just go ahead and leave that blank and then there we go. Now, if I go ahead and fill out this form, it's test, so it's already published. It should work if I publish my Webflow project. Don't know if I did. Let's just go ahead and publish it again. 
and let's just see what happens in here. Enter some stuff, click sign up, passwords cannot be submitted. Okay. Ah, I don't think I clicked prevent default. Oh, what am I saying? I didn't even set up an action. Back into list. Okay. Actions. Member stack. Sign up. Element. Let's get that sign up form. Actions on event. On submit. Whoops. On submit. Prevent default. Reset form. Fine. We don't need that. It would refresh perform request. Member stack sign up. There we go. You need that because in WISD, a request is just saying what's going to happen. An action is saying when it's going to happen. So anyways, let's just go ahead and refresh, make sure we're up to date. And now it should work. If I go ahead and click sign up, looks like nothing is happening, which is a good sign. Let's go here into members and we should be able to see our new member that was just created. So there we go. Members are now being created. After that, we want to redirect them. So let's go back into, actually, first, let's go ahead and set up our redirects in member stack. So this is currently set to home page. Let's set it to success. That would make sense. Save. And then here in Wiz, we are going to want to, I want to say an action member stack redirect. Type event trigger is request finishes. Member stack sign up actions. Let's do navigate to URL return. Okay, so let's actually go ahead and run this so we get the data. There we go. I don't know if you can hear dogs barking in the background, but I certainly can. Sorry about that if you can. Anyways, sign up. Now we should be able to see right over here what we want to return. We have this result right here, and we can see login redirect, sign up redirect. Okay, sign up redirect is probably what we're going to want to use. Should return something. Now let's go ahead and try it. Let's just refresh this and sign up with some new credentials sign up and it does not seem to be redirecting me this slash success seems to be fine why is it not so if i inspect what's going on in here hmm. so it's not seeming to want to redirect right now you know what? Let's just set up a redirect in Wiz. Return. Success. We're going to want to do slash success. There we go. And then let's do the same thing here quickly for login just to make sure that's working. So member stack login. Member stack. Sign in email password. Email, return login email and password return login password. There we go. And again, let's go ahead and set up a member stack login action. Login form, submit, request member stack login. There we go. And then let's just call this member stack login sign up. And then let's make member stack. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Let's go ahead and undo. Member stack redirect. Let's duplicate that and call it member stack redirect. Login. Quest finishes. Member stack login. Again, redirect to success. Okay, I think we are good to go. These should be working. Now let's go ahead and try to sign up. There we go. Okay, it's redirecting. The page itself doesn't exist. Naturally, that's what's going to happen. Let's go ahead and make that page in member stack, sorry, in Webflow. And that is where we are going to display our members. So call it success. Let's just remove this stuff and then let's make members item, add some styling to it. It's going to be hideous, but let's at least try to make it slightly not hideous. What do we think? 
add some of that. Okay, 0 0.5 pixels. 0 0.5 rem is what we want. And let's add a border to get extra fancy. There we go. And then all I want to do is show the emails in here. So let's do text block. Remember, at email.com is a placeholder. And let's add some attributes in here. Let's also add some margin. Uh, 0 0.5 rem. Now let's add WISD attributes. So WISD, let's do member item. And then in this text block here, let's do WISD member email. Now let's go ahead and publish that. And now if we go in WISD here and refresh, we should be able to see this page with nothing happening. Okay. So now I think it's Supabase time. So let's go into Supabase and let's go to table editor and let's click create a new table and call it members. And then ID, let's just go ahead and leave this as ID, but set it to text. Yes, primary key, create it at, leave that. And let's just say email. And again, let's set this to text. We don't want it to be a primary key. Let's go ahead and click save. Adding three columns, saving. Okay, great. Now let's go ahead and go back into WISD. And next, what we're going to want to do is create another action. So let's just call this Superbase create member. And then let's do event request finishes member stack sign up perform request. And we don't have a request. So let's make a request. Let's call it Superbase. Create member app superbase. Create item table members data key ID return. Okay, I need this data to be in here. So that's getting a little bit tricky right now. Let's go back over here and sign up again. Back to index. This is not index. Okay, I'm just going to refresh. When in doubt, always refresh. Still on success here. There we go. Okay, so now let's go ahead and sign up. Something like that. And it's taking us here. So hopefully we can see our request data still. Oh, we don't see it. We don't see it. Um, what we need to do is get from member stack that member you know what you know what i have a better idea this is something i should have done before anyways name member stack get member and this we want to get the member actually nah, no we do we need to do this anyway so i'm going to set it up but member stack get member and this is just going to get the current member and give us data about that member let's see now we want to set up an action member stack get member this let's do event and then do page starts loading perform request member stack get member beautiful so now on refresh we should be able to see at least that we are getting the member let's go ahead and just open this so that we can browse the data store okay so we're getting the member here and even though this sign up stuff isn't returning exactly what I want it to, I think we can probably just guesstimate here. Member stack sign up or if I can go back over here to this index page, even though it really doesn't want me to, it just wants me to be on the success page for some reason. Okay, let's refresh again. And I have an idea so that we can get that data to stick. Let's go ahead and just for that member stack redirect here. Let's go ahead and just reset this so it doesn't run the redirect. And then we will at least get the data that we need. Sign up. Why did it run the redirect? Now it might be running the redirect for member stack. I don't even know. I don't even know. But the point is we need to get for this 
the member ID, but right now we can't right here. What does it look like? Get, okay, get member dot data. Let's do dot data dot ID. And then email, let's do return sign up data. This should work, but I'm not 100% sure. Data dot email. Oh, whoops. That should not be a string. That should be like, so it should say undefined. That's totally fine. Because right now it is undefined. Let's go ahead and try this out right now. So this redirect here. I want to do sign up and then login is login. That is all well and good. And then for action request finishes, member stack sign up. Yes, is conditional, and we're going to want to do stack sign up turn member stack sign up status, I believe is 200. So let's just go ahead and run through this now. Again, I got to go back to the index page, but it doesn't want me to. So, you know, that might be a bit tricky. This still seems to be in draft. That's why Superbase create member. There we go. Everything is saved. And now since we want to go back to the index, let's just refresh everything. And we should be back here now. So now if I go ahead and just enter in some stuff, let's see what happens. So it's showing here. Now let's see if it created a member in Supabase. Doesn't seem to have done so. Go back into WISD. And let's see what we're dealing with here. Okay, so get member is working and it is getting the member, but we're not saving this data here from member stack sign up. And for that, I'm wondering why can we watch it as we sign up just to see? Yes, we can. So let's go back, click index and then refresh. Here we are. Now we can see this. So now that we can see this, let's just hit run. Okay. So it's running, but then it's refreshing this. So you know what we can do if we go over here into actions and then for our sign up redirect, just the redirect one, let's do request when create member is finished. That might help. So back to index again or clicking it at least and then refreshing the page now let's go ahead and browse right here okay so it seems like that request is actually finishing but it's tough because we can't actually see this here let's go in here and see if we can find anything being created we cannot can I entirely remove the redirect? I tried that and it didn't work for some reason. So let's refresh here our triggers entirely. So now there's no reason that it should be redirecting. Let's see if that ends up being true or not. Here we are. Now we can look at this and now we can look at this. So please don't redirect me. There we go. Okay, so we have our data. And let's see if this is happening as well. Message new row violates row level security policy for table members. Okay, so I need to set up row level security. Let's do add RLS policy here. Create policy and let's just write true in there. This is something that I learned. Is this the most secure method? Quite possibly not. If anyone has a better method, please let me know. Allow updates, save. Okay, now let's look at our table. Now let's look at members. And let's go ahead and try to create one. It's not null constraint. Okay, so that means that I certainly did not do this correct in my request for creating a member. Like I said, I was guesstimating it. Not gonna be, not gonna be perfect. Member data member ID. 
There we go. We need that and we need email. So what's this data member email? Data member auth email. Oh, okay. So now it's looking pretty good. If you ask me, let's go ahead and enter something new in here and hit sign up. Now this is running and it's looking like they're being created. If we go back into Superbase, we can see them now. So now we have everything that we need just like that. Let's go ahead and reset up our redirects. And then, so let's do request finishes, member stack login, and then for this one, request finishes, Superbase create member. Now let's go ahead and try it again just to make sure that everything is working and the redirect isn't causing any problems. I just love entering absolute nonsense in like that. All right, let's see if our new one got created in here. Yep, okay, so all is good, it's being created. So we have the C done. The C is the create. Now let's move on to reading them, so getting them. So let's go back into Wiz, and we already added our attribute here, so let's go ahead and get our array. First, let's do base get members, super base, members. We have some stuff here. I'm not going to need it right now. Select columns. We're going to want, I think, only email. Yeah, we only need email right now. Now that we've got that, let's just go ahead and run this. And as we can see, that is being sent. Now let's also make a index variable here. Just call it I, and then initial value is return zero. There we go. I believe that's good. That was from Emmanuel's video. I've done it a few times. Hopefully I'm not missing anything. So anyways, we have this right now. And then let's go ahead and create an action and call it members list. Let's make the trigger event request finishes. Superbase get members. Now I already see a problem here and that is we're not actually running that request. So let's go ahead and do Superbase get members. And we're going to want to do event. Let's do page starts loading. Run function. Oh, sorry. Perform request. And Superbase get members. There we go. Now members list render can work. So actions. What we want to do here is... See, ah, okay. So we don't want to do an event here. We want to do an element and then we want to select our member item. Then we can do render list, just like that. Render list from array. We want to do return our get members, just like that. Email we can see right here. That's our array. Variable for index. Let's just go ahead and do that right there. Now let's do member set email. So actually first now let's see if this is rendering. There should be two here. Beautiful. There are two. So let's go ahead and add another one and let's call it members render email. And again, let's do event. Sorry. Again, let's do element and let's do member email. And here we want to do set text, plain text value return. And then let's get our get members data email. And then this zero right here, we're going to want to replace with that V dot I thing. Now we should be able to see if I refresh, it should be rendering the list correctly. So now let's just go from the top. Now we've got the CR and we're missing the UD. So let's go over here. Let's refresh and let's just enter in third at member.com, enter some stuff, hit sign up. And then as we can see here, third at member.com is here along with the other members. So now let's go ahead and do update. So let's do an email form to update an email. Let's go, here we are already in Wiz. No, we want to make a form in Webflow first. So let's go ahead and copy this form. Let's go back to our success page over here. And I guess right below our container. Actually, it's in our container large. It can be there. So, yep. 
There we go. Email, update, email, whizzed, update, email, input. This is update email form. Amazing. We've got that. And then beautiful. We're going to want to set this too. So let's go ahead and publish and go back into WISD over here. Refresh. And now that we can see this, let's create another action and let's have it set the email. So let's call it member stack set email element update email input, set HTML attribute, value, and then we want to get our email from get member, just like that. So now we can see that is being set. As soon as get member is done, it is being added right there. Beautiful. Okay, now that we have that working, the next thing is to update the emails. Let's go ahead and create another request and call it member stack update email. Then member stack update member email return the value of that right there. Then let's go ahead and create an action. And again, member stack update email. Now let's do element. Let's grab that update email form on event, submit, prevent default, and perform request. And we want our member stack update email. There we go. So now let's go ahead and call it three at member.com instead and see if it works. So I'm going to click that. Let's go ahead into our data store right here. Looks like it worked. Now let's refresh and we're still going to see third at member.com because we didn't actually say to upload in Supabase. So now let's go ahead and create another request and call it Supabase update members. App Supabase, update item, table, members, record ID. We want to get the current member from member stack, their ID, just like that. So that's the one that we want to do. And then data, let's do email, value, return right here. Uh, no, we can just grab the input. So email input, there we go. And then we're going to need to run this. So super base, update, email. Now let's do event, request finishes. Request is member stack update email, and then Perform request Supabase update. I did update members. That's all well and good. Now let's watch our data store and let's change this to be 33 at member.com and see what happens. So this is running in member stack. As we can see, it's updating the email. And then after that, it should have ran this right here. Now, if I refresh, this should be 33 at member.com. Yes, it is. As we can see, it is updating. The final thing left to do is delete. Let's go ahead and quickly see. Let's make a remove my profile button. In here still. Button. Just add one rem below that. Delete my account is error. Let's go ahead and set that to a nice, nice red. I don't think there's actually any of those yet. Nice bright red. And then let's add an attribute whizzed delete button. And this is going to be a horrible UX. It's literally going to be one click and the, the account is gone forever, but it's just for demo purposes. It's all good in the hood. There we go.
load. Now let's go back in here and refresh and let's go ahead and create a, let's go ahead and actually create two new requests because we want to delete them both in member stack and super base. So say member stack, delete member stack. Is that even an option? I haven't actually had to do that yet. So if not, then we'll just delete it in super base. No. Just to confirm. No. Okay. I've actually never had to programmatically delete a member like that to begin with. So anyways, in that case, let's just do super base delete member method delete item table members record ID return and let's return that member ID from the get member. Now, all we need to do is one more action over here and call it super base delete member type. I keep clicking event by accident. Element delete button on event click form request super base delete member. So now here I am logged in as 33 at member.com. Let's go ahead and click refresh right there. And then let's click delete my account. Keep an eye right in here. It's loading. There we go. Okay. So we can see 33 at member.com. Now, if I click delete my account, gone. Just like that, we have now made it. So we are creating members. We're getting members and doing something with them. We are updating them, updating their email, and we're able to delete them. This might seem as a project pretty useless. That being said, if you can replicate this on your own, you have effectively learned and replicated all of the most important things that you are going to need to do while building your web app using Wiz and member stack. So here we are at the 40 minute mark and with some pauses that I'm going to be cutting out. So maybe a bit less in all of the essentials. So that's it. I hope this helped. I'm looking forward to hearing what you want to see next. Drop it in the comments below. I'll talk to you soon and have a great day.